Ta-da! Hello, hello everyone! How are you? I'm Alex Koloskov, founder of Footage School of Photography, and uh, this is our first live broadcast uh, in this year that, well, I think it is. That we'll be doing every Friday from now on. So, welcome to our Friday photo talk. Okay? Uh, we'll be broadcasting today on YouTube and Facebook. Facebook 40G group and 40G page. But uh, I'll be looking for comments on YouTube. So if you want to talk to me, please load YouTube channel. And uh, there is a chat, okay, uh, that we can all use to get some communication. So... The announcement is this, every Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, I'll be here to talk to you, to answer your questions, to uh, discuss any news uh, that uh, we would like to discuss. Basically, it will be a live uh, talk show. Sometimes I'll be doing some photography for you. Maybe other time I'll do something else, <laughs> who knows? Uh, but uh, let's do this every Friday, 1 p.m. I hope this time is good for you. Uh, this is our historical time, and uh, well, we probably, probably may shift it somewhere, like 12 a.m. or well, 12 p.m. Pacific time, or a little bit later, but uh, I prefer 1 p.m., so hopefully you'll be guys okay. Uh, let's see. If you hear me well, if you see me well, please post. Uh, let me check if you have something here. Oh, hi from Miami. Actually, Facebook first. So if you hear me, if you see me well, please post plus or let me know. Just let me know on the chat, either chat or on YouTube. And looks like it works on, on Facebook, which is great. Uh, one second. Let me check something to make sure. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. I mean, will be like this. Yep. Hey, Janine. Awesome. Plus. So, all is good. Yes, really great. Thank you, Morton. So, we're good. Uh, then we can talk. And, you know, when I was uh, thinking um, about this show, of course, it will be all around photography. But looks like... These days, uh, there is something else that, uh, well, probably uh, took all of your attention or most of it, right? Uh, it's all about that virus. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, Jason, Rotoflo, Norbert. Cool. Ted. Audio is good. Thanks. So, we'll talk about photography, probably. Uh, but first, I want to talk a little bit about uh, that, uh, well, madness that's going on. At least here uh, in U.S., it start kind of taking, taking off. I mean, all this stuff that is going on about virus, which is well super crazy, but I think uh, it's inevitable. You know, something like this will happen eventually, um, because we kind of were too, uh, you know, too confident that we control this world and everything, you know, it's like all is good and, you know, the economy and political system everywhere, medical, all is good. Uh, but looks like it's not and uh, the biggest issue, I don't see it uh, coming from the wires by itself. Just because, you know, it's more about fear. It's not about wires, fear and panic. Because if you look at the statistics, you know, there are many things, uh, many things that kill us every day. Like, you know, in the U.S., there are about 30,000 deaths on the roads per year. Imagine, it's, uh, it's like 80 people every day dies on the road. And how many, uh, uh, you know, uh, injuries for the rest of their life? It's like several times more, right? How many people die from flu? 50,000 every year, only in the U.S. So... It's always been there, but just nobody was screaming it. We get used to it. Once we get used to it, it's okay. You know, death next to us, it's fine if it's, it was forever there. Well, not forever, but a long time. And anything new, anything will ignite panic. 
especially with all this. So I hope um, it will be not as bad as some predict. And panic sells. You know, let's do this. Um, I'll do, I'll share my screen with the chat. So guys, if you want to say something, this is YouTube chat, go for it. Okay, I'll read and everyone see. So let's have a conversation. So what I'm uh, talking about that uh, this panic and everything is spread, you know, on Facebook, on social media, and it's uncontrollable. And the virus by itself is not that bad because it looks like China already uh, got it under control, right? So good organization works. Huge country, right? Over a billion people. And it's already under control. But the problem that is not under control is a panic. And especially in uh, countries like US, you know, in Europe, it just start uh, taking off. And uh, this is the biggest issue because what's coming, I don't know if you see it or not, see it or not, the economical crisis, right? This is way worse, I mean, way more dangerous than any virus, especially like a flu-like virus, because every flu, flu virus, virus has a complication every time. Every time uh, there are some part of uh, people who's dying from flu because of complications. So maybe not that bad, but still. Anyway, guys, let's think about what do we do <laughs> in the new world. Imagine the worst, like huge crisis, economical crisis. They start printing money, you know. <sighs> Great stuff, chia seeds, love it. Anyway, what do we do as photographers? I mean, as photo video guys, what, what will happen? What kind of, uh, you know, shift? Because something will change after all this ends. Of course it will be, you know, all will be good, but what do we do? Many things will change, right? Hello from Iran, yeah. People are drawn to uh, sensationalism and disasters. Yes, Janine, we, we've been taught, right? There are tons of movies, Hollywood stuff, you know, they always show us, you know, what will happen when uh, this pandemic stuff, boom. It will be like zombies walking the street. So we kind of, we taught what will happen, and the fear is just sitting there waiting for the trigger. Boom, the trigger is there. What is going on here in, uh, in the stores? I mean, this big country, you know, developed country like the US, well, it's just craziness. People, you know, buying all this white toilet paper. Why toilet paper? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, I think in a country that never had uh, like a real war on the territory, like in Europe, you know, in, in Soviet Union, we had, they buy toilet paper here because they didn't know what it really <laughs> needs to be. But anyway, I'm kidding. Um, I don't think it's toilet paper what you need to buy, but anyway. So, wh what will change? I think it will be more uh, online businesses, right? Uh, in any case, uh, all this stuff, when you need to go to work, you need, you need to drive to work for several hours, one hour one way, and uh, one hour back, many people doing this, right? Like, I don't know, 60% of the population of the developed countries do it every day, five times per day. It's crazy, right? Uh, you need to drive to work. I think this should be, well, at least this is a good outcome from all this panic, all this stuff. Uh, I hope that corporations, you know, they will shift. We don't need to sit together in the one huge building, like thousands of people, to sit in the cubicles and, you know, to type something because most of the work is uh, just you and your computer. Uh, there are so many cool ways that, I mean, technology, it's already there to make virtual uh, environment. Yeah, we know how important to talk to, you know, our teammates in the group or in any, uh, whatever corporation we work on, right? But it's all possible with the technology. You don't need to, you know, drive your ass there to sit, to talk to your teammates. It's all possible in the single room with few cameras, few screens that cost nothing 
now you know I have one, two, three, four screens. It's like I know. <laughs> it's all doable. We just don't do it because it's still easier to drive RS for one hour one way. You know, all this I hope it will be fixed by this uh, outbreak. Uh, and um, the good thing about photography, especially studio photography, that you can do a lot in your studio without seeing your customers. You can have all this stuff uh, shipped to you and shipped back. So uh, it's uh, it's all kind of still in a good way. And especially if it's uh, CGI, <laughs> like Janine is working on the course. Okay, uh, let's see what is going on here. Uh, hi from Morocco. I'm software engineer and anything can do in the office I can do from home. Exactly, John, exactly. Uh, anything can be done. It just somebody from management, you know, and big corporation just need to think about it. They have money, they have everything, we have technology. Just put it there. And it's not about virus, it's not about, we need to see the real people. We need to see, I mean, it, it's, uh, the digital communication is not like a real communication when uh, you smell, you, you, you kind of perceive um, people different way, even subconsciously. We still need it, but better together with friends instead of, you know, sitting in the traffic. We'll get together in the evenings. We'll touch each other, you know, hug, talk. It's all needed, it's all there. But for work, that's <laughs> okay. So how is in your uh, countries, how is in your cities? What is going on? Tell me, I mean, just want to see because we have all, I um, mean, people all around the world. One second, I want to switch to analytics. It's kind of cool to see what is going on here. Is it bad? What in the stories? In the stores, I mean, the, the, it's empty shells or all is good? You know, I, I've been uh, in, in the mall uh, yesterday. This is the best time for shopping. It's empty, except the sellers. I mean, there are, I mean, everything is open, everything is so cool. No people whatsoever, just a few. And wow. <laughs> Uh, I don't need paper. Yeah, no paper. It's just just I have no idea why why they taking paper. You know, food and water. This is first what you need. Uh, you need some electricity if uh, things gets really bad. For example, we have this you know the gas generator uh, with uh, I don't know like about ten gallons of uh, gas, so it will run for a week if I need electricity, and it's like two kilowatt. You know, two hundred. Yeah, two kilowatt. So all kind of things. And remote learning. Yes, Janine. Universities are shutting down. Yes, uh, we, we have school actually shut down. Uh, we have private school for kids and uh, it was first in our area. I mean, I think private schools shuts down first and then government. If not yet, I don't know, I didn't really follow all the news. Hmm. In Switzerland, companies are starting to let part of the employees work from home. Yes, but for how long? You know, it, it shouldn't be, I mean, we shouldn't drive. One day per week, it's fine to drive, let's say, and it will be a week of meetings. You drive to the office, you meet your teammates, you gather into one room just to be able to scream to each other. I don't know why. I mean, still, it's all possible to, done, to be done in a virtual environment, but at least one day per week, it's fine. I, I get it. But what? Why, why you need to do the rest? And remote learning, it's the coolest thing. You see what will happen? Uh, we, it's another topic that I want to talk, that uh, there is a project that uh, kind of growing um, behind me, you know, uh, it's hidden. I really want to let it go and probably this is time to kind of start releasing it. I'm working on the uh, big course of how to start your own school basically this is another um, area where i have tons of experience i build the school from scratch okay i'm the guy who came to us with my wife is 400 dollars that's it it was in 2001 just when crisis you know dot com i was a programmer i came it was a crisis no work no not i mean nothing 400 dollars and somehow without you know, good language, it's still not so good, right? Without all this, I built something that let me drop my uh, corporate work. 
uh, move to California, which, which where it's crazy expensive, but it's cool to live here, you know, and do all things that I love to do online. And why, I'm thinking, why not to put it into something? There are so many people who has things to share with the world, I mean, the knowledge. So it will be a new project uh, from me. Uh, it's, it will be about building your online school. It will be a different channel. It's not a 40G. It's not 40G at all. Uh, it's an uh, announcement coming soon, and uh, it will be lots of interactions. So it will be actually coaching groups. I really want to help uh, those of you who want to teach, who want to... Uh, all that knowledge that you have, all the desire to kind of give it back to the world. This is, hopefully, my project will help you. Anyway, uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. It, it's something big. I, I, I really was afraid to kind of push it out because so many things needs to be done, but I'll start from little. Okay, so 16 in AC configuration, uh, shelves full. Okay, cool. That's no panic buying here uh, in North Texas. Store shelves and grocery stores and Target are uh, full. Nice. Plenty of toilet paper. So maybe it's time to make some business, you know, uh, grab toilet paper and sell it online. You know, I read about um, that story of diapers.com. Uh, guys started to sell diapers in back in, I think, 2003 or five year. Um, they start selling diapers just by driving to Costco's, to BJ's, I mean, all these uh, big stores buying uh, diapers and selling it online for actually even less than they buy. And uh, they built company out of this. It was just two guys on a truck. And about 10 years later, they sold it to $500 million to Amazon. Imagine. So, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's possibilities. <laughs> 950 in Norway. Morton, is it death or uh, the cases of, uh, you know, virus uh, infections? 950. You know, all this about virus, it's, like I said, it just because they told us that this is, I mean, they put our attention, not who they, we put, I mean, Facebook, everything, uh, our attention to this. We don't see the death that, you know, happens on the roads. We don't see the death that happens every day uh, from the flu. 50,000 every year, only in the U.S. Imagine it, 50,000 people. And actually, it's uh, usually weak people, like uh, you know, older uh, or uh, sick with di uh, different disease, dying every year. And nobody care, you know. Because nobody put attention into it. Imagine that every, you know, CNN uh, channel, like, will be reporting every day. 150 more people dead today from flu, and next day, yeah, 160, and then 100, and then, like, every day for the whole year. Imagine. It would be crazy. Anyway, it's all about our attention. So whatever we put our attention is, will be happening in our life. By the way, controlling your attention is the most... Uh, it's the best skill to have if you can control your attention, where to put it. Okay, uh, what we infected? One death. It's crazy. And uh, Norway shuts down, right? It's almost closed, right? Morton, same thing as Italy. One death, 150 uh, sick people. It just, I mean, imagine how much death will happen when the Economic crisis will, you know, will hit hard. How many people will lose jobs? How many people won't get a medical attention because of this? How many? I just, but it will happen, just because we big herd of animals when there is something scary, unfortunately or fortunately, whatever. This is how it is. Yeah, complete panic. Panic, panic, panic. But it sells well. Yeah, fear sells well. You know what they start doing now with uh, dollar? If they start, uh, they already put 1.35 uh, trillion, right? Or billion, billion dollar. I mean, they print it in one night and burn it. But if they start doing it unlimited, like unlimited supply, it's the begin, it will be the beginning of the end 
of the whole economical system. Anyway, I am not an expert on this. Let's uh, get into photography. Yes, exactly. So, guys, uh, about photography. I'm ready to, you know, to, 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 do, to, do, to, to talk about anything. Uh, recently, we finished uh, the workshop, uh, and the second one is coming. It will be actually uh, quite different, you know. Uh, you probably seen on uh, Instagram. It was uh, with vacuum cleaner, and uh, another one. Uh, I'm gonna not gonna tell you uh, before, before we shoot it. Uh, let's, um, if anything, you want to talk about gear. Uh, give me questions, because you know talking about uh, things and looking at what is going on on, uh, let's say Facebook. Let me actually load it. One second. Our group. Yeah. Ah, stylist. Yeah, she she is awesome. Uh, we'll we'll I'll bring her. I'll bring her. It's about stylist uh, that uh, we start uh, we start collaborating with on the workshops. And uh, by the way, guys, the the recent workshop, the recent. Uh, uh, one second. Sub yesterday we had a review uh, from the recent workshop. It was just amazing. It was an amazing work. Uh, I'll, I'll show you in a second. It just super. It was complicated and uh, it was uh, lots of uh, propping, you know, and all that stuff. But I want to share a little bit with you uh, what kind of uh, work uh, people did. One second, going to do it like this. So, Janine, this is the work. And the funniest part about this uh, work, it's CGI plus real photography. You probably will never guess where, uh, you know, CGI where uh, the photography, but uh, Janine did it. And it, it's so awesome, it's blend. All props done in CGI, and uh, there is a real photography of the real products is done here. Uh, then uh, let's show you. This is from Lydia. It's sponges, you know, so cool. This is from uh, Finn. Check it out. It's composite shot. But it's all real. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not a Photoshop. This one from uh, Katie. Cool. And one more. Again, it's all real. It's all done. And one more from Andres. This is just ah, insanely good. Uh, I think, was it all real? Yeah, it's all real. Check it out. It was just all as is. Well, of course, the some post-production, but it was shot, you know, in one single piece. And that's what we do. Uh, cool stuff. So, uh, talking about, guys, talking about uh, things, photography things, continuous lighting. It's an interesting thing. I, I never was considering continuous lighting as, a, as something that uh, could be useful uh, for product photography. One second. But, or no, however, <laughs> you say, it's, uh, it's so, it's, it could be so rewarding. Once I, I have this um, Godox S30, because j just regular continuous light, well, it's, it's nothing cool in it. It, it. Sometimes it's hot, you know, sometimes it's noisy, sometimes, well, not probably noisy, but uh, strobe light um, is better in most of the cases. Uh, but, with specific continuous lighting, like uh, Godox S30. I, uh, we have a review of it. It's just such a great tool, creative tool, to shoot anything that is actually still, still life type of subject. Because of their focusing abilities, because of all these gobos, you know what I'm talking about? It's optical snoot that can project any pattern, any shape or type of light, focus it on specific areas of the product, uh, uh, I've used it uh, of the, for the vacuum cleaner shot. It's just insanely good. I mean, it's, it's like, 
it's really it's new dimension and there is a way to do it uh, with strobes i mean uh, there is you know adapters uh, but they usually cost way more and uh, it's easier easier to work for me with uh, continuous lighting now in some areas so uh, talking about strobe vs continuous lights together they just great tandem and they were, uh, i use them together meaning that strobe plus continuous lighting because strobe of the power it's it's lots of power um, Ted saying, I'm a photo photographer and I realize that, I realize that increasingly people go for rendering farms for their product images. What's uh, your option on this? Yes, that's what will happen. Really, uh, rendering uh, become less and less expensive in terms of machine timing, you know, and eventually the dollar cost. Plus, it become more and more uh, realistic. And this is where it will go, really, product photography, uh, and not only product photography, but uh, even people, it will be blend, blend of uh, photography and CGI, because it, it, it will be done faster. Like uh, Janine did this image that I showed you previously, uh, this one. I asked her how long it took you to create all these props because i can tell you that uh well it's here right the all the cosmetic products was done i mean this is my photography okay so i shoot it it was uh, we provided the file for students so they can grab and use it uh so one two three pieces here was photographed the rest is cgi and janine told me it's two hours of work okay to, to put all this stuff for me, it took about eight hours to go to shop, you know, to buy stuff that, you know, I use for arrangement uh, for the, um, uh, this is the, uh, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you don't know, we have these workshops, we do it every month, and uh, it's uh, like uh, shooting plus post-production plus uh, critique and review after that. So this is my uh, image, well, my plus um, Artem Pisarevsky post-production. Uh, this is how you know it was as is out of the camera so to build this it took me from scratch eight hours shopping building redoing something then it took some time probably a couple hours for Artyom to turn it into into this okay in Photoshop and Janine did it in two hours the whole thing right well at least the propping so CGI is is a cool thing to have it's, it's a really, this is what, uh, where we need to go. This is why Janine is working on the course. Yes, uh, she is a great instructor. Uh, she's well known in our community. And uh, uh, we're working to, together with Janine to deliver the first course of CGI plus photography for you guys. It will be several uh, courses, but we'll start from the very uh, uh, kind of beginner, beginner level. And then uh, we'll go from there. But this is uh, the future of product photography. You can survive just doing photography and some Photoshop. Uh, it, it, I think it should be CGI. Plus video, plus all this, you know, all this uh, is possible to uh, turn into motion picture where stuff is kind of moving because of CGI, right? Um, Okay, she asking about new Fuji X-T4 for product photography. Is it a good camera for product photography? You know, I have uh, Fuji X-T3. Uh, uh, Fuji. We bought it for... One second. For videography, though. Uh, let's see what is there. What's the difference? I uh, know you know, X-T. It's 26 megapixel. Uh, one second. And uh, still crop sensor, right? Looks like cool camera. Well, what I can tell, uh, it's, yeah, it's good for product photography. Any camera will work. This is not really like super professional camera because of the crop sensor, uh, but there is nothing that will stop you to do product photography. On the other hand, on today's standards, 26 megapixel is not, you know, the highest thing. Uh, for example, a new Sony um, A7R 4 right? 60 megapixel? 60, yeah. So it's like 
it's little, but it costs more, of course. Uh, but again, it's not about camera. If you will take great pictures with this camera, yes, you will work, uh, clients will come to you. You probably uh, will need to rent a bigger camera if somebody uh, from advertising agency, you know, from uh, BBDO or whatever uh, will come to you and, you know, with big client, yeah, you, you can rent Hasselblad, you know, 100 megapixel and shoot it. It's not about camera. It's about knowledge of how, you know, to put stuff together, how to shoot. Camera is just a registration device. It's, it's really wrong to think about uh, any type of photography, you know, at least product photography, you know, the camera. Any camera will work. So what else do we have? Yeah, I mean, uh, CGI in general. Render farm, it's, well, it doesn't matter how you render. I mean, it's, of course, farm is faster, but I'm talking about in general, of course. Uh, it's faster, yeah. Uh, and brush uh, blisters, yes, uh, bl uh, brush blisters, CGI too, okay. <laughs> yeah, I understand, of course, Jane. yeah. How about 360 uh, product photography? Well, it's, it's there, right? We have uh, the course uh, for 360 uh, product photography as well, if you know, right? that we do have. It's cool stuff. There are different options, you know, how to do uh, it in terms of how, what, what system to use uh, to embed on a website. It basically, uh, basically um, um, depends from the client. I'll show you what do we have. Uh, one second, if uh, here it is. So uh, talking about uh, stuff like uh, this, when uh, you can do you know, products on 360, right? We have a course, so you can just check it out. Um, we can even do people, you know, fashion, uh, using the same technology, and these are our friends, and actually this is me, <laughs> uh, sitting there. So there is a course, and it, it will, by the way, if you're interested in the gear, you know, what kind of gear we used, uh, check it out, it's, it's all there. I can paste link uh, if you want. So what I'm talking about 360, it's a good thing to, to have in your portfolio. It's, it's not super complicated and it's, it's really close to videography, meaning that if you'll be able to do 360 photography, you'll be able to do 360 video. And this is cool. Um, you know, to survive and to thrive as a business, as a photography, I think you need to have uh, these technologies into your possession, basically, you, you can uh, use it. Photography by itself, then CGI at some extent, and then videography at some extent. It's all about working in the studio, but all these three will uh, help you to get, uh, basically, like to, to, uh, to have portfolio, you know, in like in different, uh, you know, buckets, basically, uh, income, not portfolio, but uh, the, your, your income. Uh, maybe coming from a little bit different sources, and uh, it's, it's of course it's, it make your business way more stable. So yes, I'm I'm surprised that it doesn't seem to be utilized in the market, so it's full potential yet. 360. Yes, that's actually uh, you know when I think will be big shift into 360 when uh, big players such as Amazon will start using it. Once Amazon implement, and I think they really close to this, they working on this. So once they will have 360 on their product placements, boom, it will be like everyone, every online store will need 360. You know, you know what happens. It's the same thing with well anything, right? iPod or whatever I, I, I watch appears like, oh, and then everyone jumps into that market and start making it. So this is what will happen. But some, someone big need to put it. If you look at this uh, company that we work with um, to get this course uh, done, Capacity, you can see what trends uh, they kind of go in because they're growing fast. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really good, great startup in this uh, case. Uh, lots of things happening in fashion. 
because this is where you know rotation helps a lot. You can see how uh, outfit sits, you know, from all the um, from 360. Uh, plus jewelry, it's super cool to see, you know, the ring from uh, because of all this reflection, all that stuff. Um, so it will be there. Hey, Fesh. Oh, Alexander, <laughs> Almata. Привет, привет. How it's, um, well, no, not going to talk about that coronavirus <laughs> anymore. <clears throat> so, um, that's about 360. Uh, what else? Let me see. Uh, oh, Jin is posted here. Beautiful. And talking about trends, it's interesting if we jump to, uh, to let's say, 40G group, right, on Facebook. Uh, by just scrolling down, it's uh, easy to see what, uh, first of all, what people are learning, you know, with, and uh, because you can always kind of see uh, the beginner's work, right, like this, for example, and uh, more professional, and what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of photography uh, is there in terms of product photography, what kind of subjects. Uh, in all this so super cool this is the most complicated you know why watches jewelry um, something oh that's me <laughs> why it's the most uh, complex uh, why it's most complicated uh, to work with you know subjects in product photography why people struggle in the most uh, my my feeling about this is that we all come from people photography first like first uh, subject that probably 99.9% .9 start capturing when they get their first camera is other person right um, other people and uh, since people are met by you know by the surface of <laughs> shoot it's it's so uh, easy, you know, to use any light to get some decent pictures, and when uh, we don't care about uh, low reflection, basically, right? In general, we like okay, light right, light left, that's it. When it comes to glossy, it, you need to be really precise with your lighting, and to be precise, you need to understand what is going on, you know, where to put it, and those who kind of get that understanding, like okay, I need to calculate where the light is coming from then everything become really easy to shoot any subject anything really it's like it's almost like a math first you do um, you know multiplication by just uh, doing it uh, through uh, how you call it when you do plus man I don't know such so uh, five multiplied by three you can do five plus five plus five and you do it all the time and then you like <gasps> There is another way to do it. Multiplication. That's and then you're like, oh, you can do. I mean, I can do five thousand three hundred eighty-five multiplied by thirty-five. Yes, you can do this, right? Same with product photography. Once you understand, it's like, wow, it's it's a matter of you know just a little bit more time to to put stuff uh, together. Uh, let me jump to this. There are questions. Uh, Godox SL 60W is good for jewelry photography. Let's see. Uh, let me grab this guy and see what is that, because I'm not sure. Oh, Godox. Okay, so it's 60 watt white LED. Well, yeah, it's, of course it's uh, it's good for jewelry photography. Why not? Continuous lighting is good for jewelry photography because um, uh, it has like infin infinity of power because you can use shutter speed, you know, long shutter speed and shoot at f18 and you'll be good. Uh, while with strobes, you need to have more powerful strobe to shoot f18, for example, right? If you don't want to do focus stacking, for example. So this will work as any continuous light. 
for jewelry photography. But just be careful, because you really need to have a stable environment with continuous light on jewelry. If your studio is a little bit shaky, meaning that this is second, third, or whatever floor of the large building, and there are some you know, trucks running on the road, or whatever is happening, if it, it has some vibration, you, you may not feel it, but once you shoot, you know, like half a second shutter speed with continuous light, for jewelry it's possible to have such, uh, because of the light modifiers that you can put around so it eats lots of light, you may find that it's blurry. You know, and you know, the macro, any little vibration will immediately make blurry picture. Uh, this is the biggest disadvantage, if you want. But if your studio is stable, if it sits on a concrete floor, on the first floor of a building and there is nothing, you know, shaking around, and you kind of know how to shoot without shaking your camera, then it will work. It's not a problem at all. So yeah, answering is good for jewelry photography. Just, you know, uh, disadvantages and advantages. Uh, Janine uh, asking, how do you think Instagram influencer influence product photography in terms of style? Well, uh, it influences a lot. Uh, there are, you know, in Instagram, it's so easy to enter Instagram as a product photographer, for example, because of low quality requirements, right? Really low quality requirements. Uh, it's not about megapixels, it's about lighting and styling, right? So many uh, people who know how to style stuff, uh, they either feel or they have education, uh, they do great product photography images with their phones on Instagram. And it looks amazing. You know, some top-down shots, you know, things where iPhone is great, food, photography, all this, it gets easier and easier to do. So uh, there is, a, I think, well, it looked way better than it used to be. Because, uh, you know, 10 years ago, really nice product shots. I've seen only, you know, nice in terms of uh, prop and style and everything. Like, like, really, it was from big brands, you know, advertisement shots. It was big projects where it was stylist and, you know, lots of people who can cut stuff and, you know, build that rig or whatever. Uh, and now it's like, woo, full Instagram in uh, with really good pictures, you know, product photography pictures. Yeah. Creativity is great, yeah. <laughs> Mohammed. <laughs> A uh, new photography competition? Yeah, well, it, we don't have uh, plans yet uh, for the competition. But, of course, we'll do it. We'll do. It, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, I think uh, the article about our winners coming soon. We have, you know, people receive some prizes. So it's super cool. Uh, let me switch this. A little bit. Okay, what else? What's interesting out there, you know, on the photography market? Sometimes I feel a little bit behind. Uh, you know, uh, I, I love to play with, you know, some old stuff. Like <laughs> recently I was doing, uh, I pulled up the uh, uh, view camera, you know, that Cambo. Ultima uh, camera, uh, which look like like this, probably not many, uh, well, it's not that's not what, you know, people will use well, no, not, not this one, the smaller one, uh, 35 but anyway, it's a view camera, you understand what I'm talking about, right? and it's so much yeah, D. It's D. It's, it should be digital. They're not even selling it. Oh, it. They sell it. This is the, you know, joy to work with. Nothing digital, you know, you like do gear, you know, all that stuff. It's so cool. It's just, um, but I don't think that this is, you know, this is the future of product photography. It just, you know, I, 
I'm not young anymore, so I really enjoy this. <laughs> but uh, this is, uh, I know, it's not a TikTok style. <laughs> and, and all the industry gets into the, that mode of making things, uh, uh, well, it's, it's sort of uh, less com complicated. It's, it gets, think that gets easier. Even uh, the you know the advertisements and all that stuff. It's either CGI, which is super complex, or if it's real life, it's you know many things uh, gets done by the phone. And the main uh, uh, the main skill that is required for this, guess what? Creativity. This is where you know you they really need a human. They really need us creativity just to put things together. This is why actually we start using, you know, um, uh, more, well, we're working with stylists on our workshops because we will, you know, we need to shift focus from technical to more creative approach in photography. Really, this is if you want to stay competitive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, guys, next Friday I'll be here hopefully, <laughs> uh, talking to you what you may be interested in uh, for me to either demonstrate or to talk about. On, on 40G, we'll, ru we'll run a pool on, um, on our, uh, how do you call it, the uh, uh, events, you know, the on this page, on live show page, uh, so we can get some data from you. But uh, I really need to, since we just starting again, you know, all this Friday talk, I need uh, some feedback from you to find the best format for Friday talk. Again, we'll talk a lot. <laughs> uh, we'll talk. Uh, my idea is to bring sometimes uh, people who will uh, join us, uh, some um, interesting people in industry. Uh, join us online and we may have uh, like an interview style with your questions uh, coming uh, plus um, well maybe some demonstration but I want to do it more uh, you know more creative uh, stuff shooting in real time for uh, people who sign up for let's say either certification program or pro club this is something that uh, we can do so if you have any any ideas shoot and because i want to make sure that uh doing the right things okay and uh about that project uh, that i'm working on about a project for any you know creators who want to share their knowledge basically share skill online uh to build their schools um the very first uh piece the very first part uh of that big program will be the technical side you know how to set up everything because you see i kind of develop relatively cool thing to uh to run live live shows it's super easy everything you know on uh, under my fingers and uh, well there are many things that uh, i can share with those of you who want to you know start uh, doing some live uh, live webinars uh, basically start teaching uh, online so if you join us recently, uh, I'm repeating, it will be an announcement. An announcement soon, uh, just uh, look for it. And Q&A, yeah, Q&A is cool. Thanks, Janine. And a uh, few more announcements. Uh, we'll be doing sale starting Monday, okay? I'm not sure about what will be going on with all this coronavirus, but I feel that this is a great time to sit at home and learn something, basically. Invest in yourself, uh, get your attention away from Facebook or whatever, from news, because you kind of, you'll be crazy, right? Because it will be so much scary things happen there. Uh, put and learn something new, something that you will use, because see what is going on. The only value is not even like a stocks or mutual funds or whatever you may have, because everything can disappear when, you know, economy goes down. Only things that you have here will be truly valuable. Skills, any skills, survival skill, photography skill, video, whatever you may have, cooking skills, you just need to get it. And this cool time, we sit at home, we better not to, you know, to, to get together with uh, people, so we didn't go to schools. 
watch for the for this Monday um, for the sale. Okay. And it looks like it's time to wrap up. All all is good here. Let me check Facebook one second. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you for joining in. It was fun to talk to you. Uh, I was surprisingly um, nervous at the beginning. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you know, it's like like a first time. <laughs> Super cool feeling. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot it. Uh, see you next Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time here on 40G YouTube channel. Uh, you better subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because you'll have notification once we go live, okay? And, uh, well, from now on, I'll be doing it every Friday, okay? Stay cool, don't panic, stay calm, you know, turn your head on. Uh, this, is, this always helps. I hope uh, you'll be good, uh, your friends, family, uh, will go, you know, away uh, without being infected and uh, everything will turn great eventually, okay? At any, anything that happens, you know, if you learn from it, we become stronger, right? I see it, you know, all the time like this. Whatever happens, even things that I feel like really bad, if I can learn from that situation, I become stronger. This the same, you know, for the same human, uh, humanity world. If you can learn with about what happened, you'll be good. Okay, so bye. See you next Friday. Okay.